Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing well and welcome back to Microbiologist and Microbiology. This is our video related to membrane filtration assembly and its uses, step by step guidelines. We will also share and discuss the advantages of membrane filtration assembly and the technique. Watch this video till its end because we are sharing a standard operating procedure for membrane filtration technique. So before starting this video, first we have to know that what is filtration. It is the process of separating suspended solid matter from a liquid by causing the latter to pass through the pores of some substance called a filter. The liquid which has passed through the filter is called a filtrate. Here we will discuss membrane filtration assembly, its function and uses as well. There are a lot of variety and material available for filtration assembly in which few are stainless steel, glass and the plastic material. And I personally recommend the plastic material that is maybe called acrylic. It is long lasting for your lab work and also very easy to handle. So I personally recommend this one for the microbiology lab. So the question is, what equipment need for vacuum filtration? We will need to find a filtration flask, vacuum adapter, Buchner funnel, filter paper, diameter of filter paper depend on the size of your funnel, the clamp and clamp holder and a spatula. If you are still confused about filtration assembly, here is a clip from my previous video. Let's check it out. Filtration assembly. Filtration assembly is used in some testing methods like bio burden of products and sterility testing of sterile products. There are different assemblies available in the market. Like with one chamber, two chamber etc. We use membrane filtration paper. Vacuum pump and flask must be purchased with the filtration assembly chamber. Vacuum pump and flask must be purchased with the filtration assembly chamber. Vacuum pump gives the air and supports the solution during filtration. What is the membrane filtration in microbiology? Using the membrane filter technique, sample is passed through the membrane using a filter funnel and vacuum system. Membrane filters have a known uniform porosity of determined size, generally 0.45 micrometers, sufficiently small to trap microorganisms. Using the membrane filter technique, sample is passed through the membrane using a filter funnel and vacuum system. Any organism in the sample are concentrated on the surface of the membrane. The membrane with its trapped bacteria is then placed in a special plate containing a pad saturated with the appropriate medium. The passage of nutrients through the filter during incubation facilitates the growth of organisms in the form of colonies on the upper surface of the membrane. Discrete colonies thus form can be easily transferred to conformation media. Membrane filter technique is an effective accepted technique for testing fluid samples for microbiological contamination. It involves less preparation than many traditional methods and is one of a few methods that will allow the isolation and enumeration of microorganisms. Membrane filters are used extensively in the laboratory and in the industry to sterilize fluid materials. For the step-by-step -step procedure, here are some points. Number one is collect the sample and make unnecessary dilutions like we do peptone buffer solution for bioburden testing. The second one is select the appropriate nutrient or culture medium. Dispense the broth into a sterile petri dish, evenly saturating the absorbent pad. Flame the forceps and remove the membrane from the sterile package. Place the membrane filter into the funnel assembly. Flame the pouring lip of the sample container and pour the sample into the funnel. Turn on the vacuum and allow the sample to draw completely through the filter. Rinse funnel with the sterile buffered water. Turn on the vacuum and allow the liquid to draw completely through the filter. Clean the forceps and remove the membrane filter from the funnel. Place the membrane filter into the prepared battery dish. Incubate at the proper temperature and for the appropriate time period. 
count and confirm the colonies and report the results. Now here are some advantages of Memory Infiltration Technique. Permits testing of large sample volumes. Theoretically, almost um, any volumes of non-turbid water could be filtered through the disk, the organisms from any given volume being deposited in the disk. The membrane can be transferred from one medium to another for purposes of selection or differentiation of organisms, thus allowing isolation and enumeration of discrete colonies of bacteria. Results can be obtained more rapidly than by the conventional MPN standard method. It provides presence and absence information within 24 hours. Now the uses of membrane filters. Membrane filters are used extensively in the laboratory and in the industry to sterilize heat labile fluid materials. Effective and acceptable technique to monitor drinking water especially. Useful for bacterial monitoring in the pharmaceutical, cosmetics, electronics and food beverages industries. Allows the removal of bacteriostatic or bactericidal agents that would not be removed in pore plate, spread plate or MPN technique. So this important information related to filtration assembly has been completed in this video so far but I am now sharing you the standard operating procedures of, of filtration assembly and the technique. But before sharing the standard operating procedure, I would like to know you that these few clips in this entire video is basically from my microbiology lab. When I received this stainless steel filtration assembly, I got some problems with the filtration assembly. When you ordered your filtration assembly from any supplier, they will not provide you the information exactly. I ordered three chambered stainless steel cups and uh, if you are adding the flask they will charge you more. So this flask is basically my old flask which I use with these three chamber filtration assembly and uh, this is not actually the complete assembly the supplier will provide. The only three chambers are about 1.5 lakhs. And because it's uh, stainless steel so it cost more because it is for the lifetime vacuum pump is also not provided by the supplier so you have to arrange by yourself you can see i feel some problems with the assembly but i addressed it and so i solved these problems and now i am doing my testing methods with this assembly so here is my SOP I would like to share you with you all because it's very useful. So here's a purpose, a scope and you can check it out the points and you can take a screenshot from this uh, video. And me as a channel member of microbiologist in microbiology allowing you to use this SOP for your lab and uh, use as a sample. You can alternate or you can change the words as well. And here is my second SOP that is uh, the filtration technique in which purpose is to establish a standard operating procedure for determining the total bacterial count from finished product by filter method. So this SOP you can prepare for the filter method or the bio burden or MLT. So please like this video, subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon so you may get notification and updates. Share this useful video with your friends, teacher and colleagues if you would like to. Thanks for watching.